1592, a war with a foul stench erupted in Northeast Asia. The Toyotomi Shogunate, which unified a divided Japan, invaded Korea. Cut off guard by the sudden and massive Japanese invasion, the Joshin government was in disarray. As a result, many callous Koreans were massacred by the Japanese army. Compared to the Japanese army, which was battle-hardened from numerous wars, the Korean army, which had been weakened by peace and corruption, had no choice but to retreat. In addition, the Japanese army had obtained a new weapon called the Arquavis from Portugal. Although the Japanese army destroyed and pillaged Korean villages, the Korean people did not give up. Righteous army rose up throughout the country to defend their homeland against the Japanese army. On August 14th, Ichi in Jinsen County, Jiola Province, two men appeared. They were Gonyur and Hongjin, military officials of Joshin Dynasty. At that time, the Japanese army was attempting to seize the entire Korean peninsula, but the counterattack of the Joshin Navy led by Admiral Lee Sushin disrupted the Japanese army's supply lines. In response, the Japanese army sent troops to occupy the grain-producing region of Jiala province to establish a supply base. When the news reached the Korean army in Jiala province, battles broke out in Ichi and Ungchi of Jinan. Konyur and Hongjin faced the Japanese army at Ichi. Upon the arrival of the Japanese army in Ichi and their firing of guns, Hongjin fought back with his subordinates, including Gumshil. And Yidegi, another subordinate, attacked the Japanese army as a guerrilla. When the enemy kept coming, Hongjin relied on a tree to block the bullets and shot arrows, all of which hit their targets. Subsequently, the Japanese army concentrated their fire on Hongjin. As Hongjin was eventually injured by the enemy's bullets, and with the enemy continuing to advance, the morale of the Korean army began to decline. Then Konyur encouraged those who were retreating and rallied the fight against the enemy, which inspired the Korean soldiers to fight once again with their lives. Sergeants, take command! As a result, they eventually defeated the Japanese army. As the bodies piled up and blood flowed, the stench of blood became thick and the victory of the Korean army at the Battle of Ichi became the background for Admiral Lee Sushin to focus on naval battles.